I'm Maya with Christine Maya's Art Studios. Today we're going to be painting this. I call it hearts and we get to have some fun with black, white, and a pop of red color. So let's get started. Today I'm going to use watercolor paper. It is actually Artist Loft watercolor paper. I really like it. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use my one inch or three quarters flat inch brush. And all I'm going to do is take some of my black and a lot of white and mix it until I get kind of like a, just like a medium gray, even a light gray. We take black, a lot more white, keep mixing. This is going to cover our whole background and just a medium gray is fine. That way we don't have to fight the white of the canvas. That was kind of loud. Yeah, so we're going to cover our whole background with this gray color. So this size is a nine inch by 12. And you can use a little bit of water to spread the paint or even some matte medium. And then after the background dries, we're gonna need to get a piece of paper. So we're gonna go ahead and cut hearts out of paper, like old school. You remember doing that in school where you fold a piece of paper in half and cut the hearts out? That's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, let's throw back to old school. And we're gonna be painting over this so you don't have to worry about getting it real smooth. Once you lay down all the gray, you can go back and forth and smooth it out if you want to, but it's not gonna be terrible if you don't smooth it all out. I ended up needing to mix a little bit more paint, and mostly I just got the black and the white on my paintbrush and it kind of blends in Again, I'm okay with if it's not flat, all flat in color. All right, almost finished up. All right. So while this dries, we're gonna go ahead and get a piece of paper. You're just going to get a normal piece of paper. This one's just a regular printer piece of paper. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half. And you are going to, I guess I should move my paint. You are going to on the side that's folded in half, you're gonna just draw a half a heart. Now, if we look, now if we look at our painting, I have like a smaller one and then I have a large heart. So I'm gonna be doing two sizes today. You can do as many as you'd like. So I'm going to do a small size heart, maybe that big, and a larger size heart, maybe that big. And then go ahead and get your handy scissors out. And just cut along that edge. Cut along your pencil mark. I didn't even follow mine perfectly. And see if you like the shape of your heart. I like mine, so I'll keep that one. If you don't like it, you can totally try again. Let's see, I like that one 
too. So, and I like the size differences here. One's a little bigger, one's a little smaller. I'm still letting that dry. So while that's drying, also go ahead and get yourself, you can use the pencil or pen, but I'm gonna use a piece of chalk to trace around my hearts to place them. So, Okay. All right, so looking at our example again, I have one big red one. I'm not gonna put anything on. That's the pop of color. Two, so I, I don't go crazy with the little hearts. I did a lot of the big hearts overlapping. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so my first one, I'm gonna put up kind of, that, this is gonna be your red heart. So kind of figure out, you know, do you want your red heart over here in the right side, the left side, bottom, top, kind of figure out where you want that first big red heart. And then you're just gonna go ahead and trace around your heart. Yep, I like that. Still, still a little wet. <laughs> no we do. Okay. And then you're just gonna fill in different spots that you want your big heart. And you can go back and forth. You don't have to just do all the big heart first. You can also pop back and forth with the little heart. So get your little heart on there, trace around it. So this is the fun part, like all the placement of the hearts. And so I know also that I'm going to be having, whoops, see, that's why you want it probably dry. Hmm. Mine is not dry yet. Maybe I should get a blow dryer. All right, so I'm going to keep going. This one is gonna kind of be underneath this one. So I'm gonna stop my line at that heart because this heart's gonna be on top. Okay. And then I'm just going to fill in like an edge of a heart here, maybe an upside down heart here. And that's the great thing about chalk is it, and maybe another upside down heart over here. All right, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my smaller heart. And let's see, I think I want one this way. And maybe one over here. Oh, and then under here, I'm going to have a bigger heart, like underneath, see? So what I'm going to do for that one is just kind of connect. And to make sure I know it's underneath, I'm going to just shade this part in right here. See that part that I shaded in? So I know that's going to be a darker color for my underneath. Okay, let's see. Any more hearts? Maybe a little guy over here, too. So whatever, wherever you want to place them, there's no wrong way to do it. This is the part where you get to have a little bit of fun. Okay, so once you're all done with that, we are going to start out with white. We're gonna start out with white and then add a little bit of black as we go. So the black is going to get dark really fast. And so you just want to be careful when you're adding in the black. Yeah, I'm going to go with my flat one inch because the heart's too big and it would take forever to fill it in with that little round one. So we're going to go ahead and load up some white paint on the flat 
one inch round that we were using for the background. Okay, and this is just the base coat, so it's okay if it's streaky. While it's wet, then you can maybe come in with the round brush and add just a touch of the black or mix your medium gray color and you're just gonna go on the left hand side and kind of blend that in. So you're gonna do just one stroke and then kind of blend it into the white. See, so just one side's gonna be a little bit darker and we'll leave that side a little bit lighter. Okay, that one's red. So we can color this one in. And we'll probably do another coat of the white. So we're just getting our base coat in here. And see, mine's even got a little bit of that gray on there. That's totally fine. This one is going to be underneath. So since this one is going to be underneath, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some black. And I'm going to go ahead and just make that a darker heart underneath. Not as dark as the background, but just a little bit so I can tell the difference between the white heart on top. So I'm going to use my smaller brush for this littler heart. shapes filled in. for my bigger hearts. Here I'm just going to add a little bit of the medium gray that we have. I'm going to add that little darker gray to this side. Actually to the whole thing because it's going to be under. So I'm going to go a little darker than this green. 
for this under, this heart that's under. All right, so I'm gonna go pretty dark for this heart. And this is good because now that I have this heart, this dark gray on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some shadows. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add some shadows underneath all the hearts. And so for that, I'm going to go ahead and just pick up some black. And on the left, see how to the left of that heart, to the left of this heart. And while it's kind of wet, you can, you can leave it kind of solid like this. Rub it out if you want. All right, so to the left of this one, we're gonna add some black. And then I'm gonna take one of my little blending brushes and just kind of feather out that sharp line. If you like the way the sharp line looks, you can totally leave it. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. And then as they all kind of blend together, we'll get that overlay of dark. All right, so I'm just putting more black on my brush. Again, to the left of the heart, we're going to do the outline in black. And the underside of this one. And to the back of that one. And then I'm going to get my other brush and just kind of wipe it off. Now this one's the dry one. And then you kind of just feather that sharp. And then I'm going to add more black on the bottom of this one. We don't have the red in on this side, so I'm not going to add a shadow on that one yet. Again, for the dry brush, I'm going to just wipe off the excess onto my paper towel, and then that kind of gets rid of the excess. And then that one dried. See, it dries so fast. So you can just add more. And shade it out. And see, so that's adding some nice depth on our shadows. So we're just going to keep going. Add to the heart. 
underneath right. here and to the left of this guy. Okay. So now that our white hearts are pretty much dry, I'm going to go ahead and fill those in again with white. And this time around, we can add just a little bit of shadow if we want to, but mostly, mostly it'll be white. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. You can see it just brightens up the center. And then if you just wanna do a touch of your gray, not even your black, mixture but your gray mixture like a light gray mixture if you just want to do a touch of that maybe on the tops of the hearts and then grab more white paint and kind of blend it in so add a little form to your heart and then just blend it blend it in i'm gonna switch over to my filbert because as I like how this heart looks, so I'm not really going to touch that. But for the ones that we need that second coat of white on, I'm going to go ahead and add that second coat of white. And on this one, let's see, kind of get rid of all those streaks. And again, while it's wet, I'll just grab a little bit of that light gray. And just in the tops of the hearts, just the top, just a little bit at the top, a little bit at the top, like that. And then grab more white to blend it in. Because you don't want to go too dark. We'll add some cute little dots on the top too later. But this is so so we don't get too dark too quick because it's easy to do. I don't want the hearts to be totally blank white. Isn't this a fun one? It's kind of therapeutic. Okay, see I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's okay. I have a lot of paint on my brush, so I kind of just wanted to... So that one kind of added in a little bit of gray by itself. Okay, a little bit of gray up top. Up top. And then... There we go. All right, I like how that's looking. I kind of lost its shape a little bit. I'm not sure how I did that. Okay. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more. Of the black and I'm kind of gonna do just a glaze I think so I'm gonna get a lot of water and just a little bit of black and kind of just glaze a little bit where I want some more shadow because I don't want it completely kind of going everywhere I guess there we That way you can kind of just glaze it over. And again, even with this one, you can scumble in the... And I like the texture too, so... And that way. So it kind of all blends together a little bit. Okay. So go ahead and wash out your brush. And we're going to move on to the red. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the red. So depending on how big your canvas is, we'll determine what size brush. I'm going to use the Liquitex Crimson, mostly just because it's a little bit heavier. I usually use Basics. I like Basics, but for this one, I want that red to be very vibrant red. And you can pick whatever color, like maybe you love purple because it's going to be black and white and then this pop of beautiful color. And I just think the red, you know, black, white, and red is kind of a classic combo for colors, right? And so that's kind of what I was thinking. I just wanted to see what I could create with the black and white little bit of red somewhere. So I'm just going to fill that beautiful heart in. We'll probably do one more coat of paint on this one after it dries. some cute lines and dots so you can pick any brush and on the back of the brush is how we're going to add the dots so you can dip it into your black paint and we're just going to go along a couple of the edges and just do like three dots And we're just waiting for that red to dry. So three dots. A little bit on the left, a little bit on the right. On the back end of my paintbrush. And then that'll give me pretty nice circles. Whereas sometimes with the brush, I feel like I don't get those nice circles. They're always kind of lopsided. Cute little dots. Isn't that cute? Alright, so I just wipe the paint onto my paper towel and that usually gets rid of it. Okay, 
So now we can go back and you can actually add some white dots as well. So do the same thing. And you can add the white dots. You can also make them along the outside to stand out a little bit more so that you can kind of see them against the gray. And I don't have a lot of rhyme or reason. I just kind of put them where I feel like putting them. And wherever you think needs a little bit more white. Also, just adding texture. So fun. All right. I think that's good for me. Okay, so how are we doing on the red? Once that red is dry. Okay, so once your red's dry, we're just gonna go over that with another coat of the red. Just to make sure it's very vibrant. And see how there's like a little bit of dark up on the edge? I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that rather than adding any black. I'm just gonna leave that layer that's underneath it. Okay, and then we need that to dry again before we add our white highlights to it. So in the meantime, we can go ahead and pick the words we want to put everywhere. Now for this, you can also use a piece of chalk again, or you can just trust your handwriting. Again, if you want to look at the reference, I have one in red to kind of so my favorite one is in red because that's actually The Crazy Love by Van Morrison. That's mine and my honey song. And so that's one of the reasons I picked it. And then I picked um, Soulmate, Kiss Me, Love, and Hug Me. So you can put anything on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do these again because I like them. And I'm going to wait for my crazy love one. I'll do, so I'm gonna get this tiny brush, my small one, it's a round number one. And I'm just gonna get some black paint. I'll put Kiss Me. Again, if you wanna sketch out your letters first, then you can with chalk or even or even you can get a Sharpie on this or a paint pen. And see, I know that S is gonna come out. Make a little, little footers on there. Another thing you can do is you can roll and pull the paint in your paintbrush, roll it and pull it, and that will give you a sharp, fine point. When you do all caps, it's a little easier because it's pretty much just straight lines. Spin it around. I'm going to do hug me on this one. So I'm super excited. This is my very first video. So I'm hoping to look back on it in years to come <laughs> and see the improvements that I made. Okay, so I got kiss me, hug me. Maybe 
love up here. All right. I'm just... Okay, so for this one, I'm going to put love on this heart right here. Again, I'm going to go with those. You could have done L-U-V, too. I can do love you. How about that? All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do crazy love on this one. So I'm going to rinse out my brush and grab some red. Here we go. curious what your letters are. What words did you use? Who did you make it for? Did you just make it for you? Did you make it for honey? It'd be cute on the front of a card. L. All right, and now our red heart should be pretty, pretty dry. So I'm going to go back to that bigger round. It's a seven. I'm going to grab white paint. And we're going to do some highlights on this heart. So I'm just going to go along edge and do a line. Do a line on the top over here. Maybe one down there. And then same thing, you can either use the back of your... I like the back of the paintbrush because it just makes it more circles. Whereas whenever I use the brush, it's more oblong, I guess. It just doesn't do the circle effect that I want. So line, dot, dot, dot. Okay. And then, when you're all finished with that, have a lovely little painting. Don't forget to sign your name. All right. Thanks for joining me.